These are almond strips. I'm going to start off with a half a cup of softened butter, and this one's really soft. And I'm going to add to it one cup of sugar. And I'm gonna get that going on my mixer so it gets nice and creamy. And while that's going, I've got one and three quarter cups of flour. I've got a half a teaspoon of salt. And I have two teaspoons of baking powder. And I'm gonna mix that up till it gets nicely combined. And the other ingredients I have here is one whole egg and a half a teaspoon of almond extract. I also have some chopped almonds and some milk, but that's for the end. So let's just get this going. I'm gonna add my almond extract and the egg. Wow, that almond extract is such a strong smell. Let that get creamed well. Turn it down and start adding my flour. Such a simple cookie to make. Really looks pretty on a tray and it just tastes delicious with a cup of tea or coffee or milk. Can't get much simpler than that to putting a cookie together. Let's just really mix it up well. I'd say that's mixed up well. Get rid of this for now. Buttery and almondy. Delicious flavors. Okay. Now, I'm going to plop it there. And I want to divide this into four pieces. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, now. I'm going to roll this to an approximate log of maybe close to 12 inches. I think I need a little bit of flour. That's better. So about that big. And I'm going to put this on a cookie sheet. I'm going to take my spatula and I'm going to flatten it to approximately a couple, two and a half, three inches wide. I will repeat with the other three. I'm just going to put two on each sheet and give them a little bit of room to expand. There's two. Okay. Now comes our milk and our almonds. And I'm just going to brush the tops of these with some milk. And I'm going to put almonds on top. Being kind of generous. 
you know, I suppose you could do this with another kind of nut also, but then you'd have to change the almond extract and maybe just put vanilla in if you wanted to do this with pecans or something like that. My oven is on 325, and these are going to go in for about 12 to 15 minutes until they get brown around the edges and they're just set. And then you want to cool them completely before you cut them, obviously. And these also freeze very well. You can put them in the freezer for about a month. You could actually get more than that out of it, but it'll be at its best within a month. So you could do some of your holiday baking early, get them in the freezer, and not be all stressed out when the holidays show up. Okay, press them down. Into the oven they go. Our almond strips are out of the oven and they cooled down completely to room temperature. You can see how much wider they got. Um, they were about three inches. They're probably about five now in width. So now I'm going to make a glaze to go over them. So I'm going to take my, my bucket of confectioner sugar here and I'm going to measure out one cup. Now I don't usually measure this because it's a glaze and there's no set menu. So a little bit of almond just for that extra flavor and then maybe a tablespoon of milk to start. I'll see how thick this gets. Definitely need a little bit more, another tablespoon. Wow, <clears throat> the smell of almond is incredible. Next to pistachios, I think almonds are my second favorite flavor in a nut for a cookie. For eating, that would probably be cashews. You can make a great cookie with cashews, too. I'll make those sometime. Okay, that's about what I want. I want it a little bit runny, but I don't want it soupy, soupy. Okay, let's get these out of here. And I've got my glass here with my plastic baggie in it, which I always use for piping. I'm going to put my lays in there. I may not have enough for all four, but then I'll just go back and make some more. That's why I don't measure. I can never tell. Sometimes I'm a little heavy-handed. Okay. And get this out of here. Get this out of here. <clears throat> Bring these over. Okay. Now we're going to make a little cut and then start drizzling. And then when this sets, I will cut these cookies probably on the diagonal. I think they look nicer that way. But I'll show you when they're all done. This will take about maybe five or ten minutes to let that glaze really set up. Here are our almond strips all ready to be cut. I'm going to cut them as I said on the diagonal. Okay, that crunch? That's all those almonds. And I'm telling you, you have this with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. These are amazing. I like these little ends because those are for me and the camera guy. So put these on our little plate here. You don't need to see me do all of these, but just just look at that wonderful cookie with all the crunch, all that topping. 
almonds. It's very, very delicious.